It's not just Biden's policies that are causing people to second guess their allegiance to the Democrat Party. It's also because of everything the left has come to embrace. Now, two nights ago, we showed you shocking undercover video from a teacher in Santa Barbara, California. She bravely brought to light this vile racializing of her school curricula and what the school district was trying to hide from the parents, by the way, on what was a password protected portal. I want to show you what's being concealed from the parents in the Santa Barbara Unified School District. Inclusive curriculum lessons. There's collections, the LGBTQ heritage, gender inclusive biology. Educate and celebrate. There's activism, the youth advocate toolkit, preschool, grade school, and secondary resources. Well, that courageous teacher, Christy Lozano, saw our segment and agreed to come on tonight. Christy, thanks for being with us. Um, have you gotten any blowback since we helped you expose this nationwide? Not really. I've had a lot of positive feedback uh, for the most part. Um, I'm sure people are thinking things, but I haven't had too much, so that's good. <laughs> well, li you know, California is obviously extremely liberal. I spend quite yes. a bit of time, believe it or not, I'll come visit you in Santa Barbara, so I know it pretty well. <laughs> but I think at this point they've gone, they've gone, they, they've gone so far left, they, I say this, they've left America. That's what it looks like. Yeah. So I want to play more of your video where you expose this racialized lesson plan. Watch. Okay. 105 things white people can do for racial justice. White people do something. It's basically defunding the police and a new smarter approach to public safety, it says to donate to BLM, make small crimes legal, do not support prisons, and reduce prison sentences. Christy, who's behind these lesson plans? Do the teachers, for the most part, endorse this? Do they resist it? And what about the parents? Well, be, who's behind the lesson plans? Um, they've hired somebody to come in and write these plans. I think they just hired him this year. And I think they come from other areas where they have done the same things, maybe even taken over the school district in other areas like San Francisco, uh, Salinas. And the teachers, we, uh, a lot of the teachers do endorse it. Some go along with it because they think it's the trend and um, it and you're made to feel bad if you don't. And if you don't, you know, uh, go along, be politically correct or whatever they want to say. And in Santa Barbara, they've been doing teacher trainings for us for the last 10 to 15 years where they've pretty much indoctrinated the teachers to then indoctrinate mm. the students. And even during those trainings, I knew something was wrong. So. I've known that for a long well, time. I just know what. <laughs> so, so it becomes a self-selecting group of people who would want to teach this, sorry, crap. Okay. Yes. I mean, most yes. teachers, the, the people who taught me were just great teachers, men, women, young, old. They were right. amazing public school teachers. I can't imagine any of them would have ever tolerated being told you have to teach basically woke activism. It wasn't called woke back then, but basically yeah. left-wing activism. They wouldn't have done it. Yeah, they, they make you believe it's very manipulative. You know, I call it psychological warfare and it's hard to uh, understand because it's manipulation. They'll lie to your mm -hmm. face. They'll tell you that this is the right thing to do. They'll make you feel bad if you don't do it. And so people go along with it for fear of standing out, for fear of being different. But, um, and for fear, and it's a real fear because there's retaliation. I've been retaliated on for speaking up for quite a while now. So, um, but I'm not the type that moves away from danger. I move towards it. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Air Force, and that's what I've been taught. So, and I protect kids. Kids are why I teach. I love kids, and I will protect them. And I will go down <laughs> fighting if I need to. <laughs> Well, Christy, it's turning child against child, which is just a terrible, terrible thing to do. Children tend to see the world as a colorblind place unless you, you know, stoke that kind of thinking in them. And it's, it's super sad and super yes. counterproductive. 
Thank you for yes. speaking out, Christy. Keep us informed and encourage more teachers to do the same, and we're going to do our part nationwide. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.